Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing, I'm going to be doing a new series on my channel and that's going to be called Comprehensive Redstone. Now what most videos do on YouTube, they usually just give you the redstone and details and everything and they're going to explain it but not all of you probably will understand it and yeah that's pretty much why I make this, why I made this because a lot of people don't usually understand redstone and that annoys me a lot. So I was thinking of ways to make sure my redstone becomes more understandable and I thought of doing a new series called Comprehensive Redstone and what it does, it just takes normal redstone things that you've probably seen before and, re and I rebuild it with a simpler design not really caring much about effectiveness or compactness but more so in a way that makes you interested um, I'm really proud of this piece because as you can see, this grid-like structure, I came up with and it was really, really hard to find out a way how to make it so. So, yeah, today, for the first episode of Comprehensive Redstone, I'm going to be doing a number digit. Now, what number digits are, is a 4, or a 3, or a 2, in your numeral, in your numeral values. So, over here I've got the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 7, 8, and 9. If I flick leave a number 9, 9 shows up. If I flick leave a number 6, 5, 5 actually, and switch off number five, number 9 because you can't have two numbers at once, I'll get the number 5. Let's say I choose number 2 and turn off number 5. I get the number 2, and it's pretty fun to mess around with. You can make countdown timers. You can make a counter for how many times, well, for how many different, I don't know, redstone, redstone designs you've made, in, including this one. So, yeah. Um, so, let's get started with it, shall we? And the way we are going to start it with is by placing three, well, um, calculating, by placing about 24 redstone lamps. So let's count there as we go along. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh. Okay then. <laughs> Came up with 11 more than I needed to. So 13, 8 digits. It's a very long design, so I'm going to be splitting this video into two parts. And yeah. Um, let's get started. So yeah, now we've got the 8 digit structure. We just want to surround it with bedrock, probably. I chose bedrock. You don't have to pick bedrock or a material. I just chose bedrock because it looks cool. So, so now the way this works is that repeaters they power uh, certain blocks. In this case, it's going to be this block over here, that block, and these uh, these other five blocks. One over here, one over here, and three over here now these blocks when this one it gets powered these two also get powered when this one gets powered these two also get powered and this one these two this one these two and this one these two so yeah that's the general idea behind it and yeah and the thing is however how are we going to get these individual um redstone currents towards each of these repeaters Without any of the repeat, without any of the redstone leaking over to the repeaters. If I did, if I did, did just this, then both repeaters would be on. And let's say I was making the number four. I wouldn't want this top one. So what we're gonna do is gonna split it into six different parts. Well, not six, seven. One over here, one over there, one over there, one over here, and three over here. So yeah. Um, let's get started. So it's um, this is gonna be slightly improvised, improvised. So please bear with me because it's not every day you try and separate redstone. So I'm gonna start off with this middle one over here. Place a redstone block leading into the repeater. Put the two blocks behind it. Actually no, one block behind it, and place some, uh, sort of a redstone trail leading out. There's a reason why I broke this block, and that's because for this um, time, I'm going to be placing a block behind each of the repeaters. That way, when I power this block, 
the repeater switch is on. So that way I don't have any redstone leaking onto this redstone dust. So yeah, I'm going to place a block over here. Around like this. So if this block wasn't raised, then this red dust would lead into it. However, it's lower down so they wouldn't connect. So I'm going to bring it around over here. And yeah, I think I might go once more. Just to um, be 100% accurate. So yep. Okay, now we're gonna go onto these ones. Like we did these ones here, yeah. And like we did before, I'm gonna be placing a block behind these two repeaters over here, and I'm gonna power those. Except this time, I'm gonna power it from the side. So yeah, these uh, three we've got redstone stair going down. Turn it around like this. Well, turn it around, and we're gonna do the same on the other side. Around. I want to fix that and yeah so we've got that round and let's loop it round over here so now we've got five uh, redstone trails so we can break this now the next thing we're going to do is power the middle so yeah we're gonna we're not going to be doing the redstone dust technique this time this time i think we're going to plug in the redstone directly oh not there here and up this time rather than down and then we're going to lead it down so we're going to bring it around here and down and we're going to build some redstone stairs and like that and that's the middle one done we've got the last one over here now this one should be fairly easy since it's at the top we can raise it a little or we can't or we won't raise it at all because it doesn't need to be raised Bring that round and down over here. I mean, you don't have to use iron blocks when you, uh, you do this build, but I chose iron blocks because they have a grid like pattern and that makes it really good redstone builds. So, yeah, I'm going to build the redstone stairs and the stairs have been built. So, let's bring it round. And now we've got seven different the stick levers on one end you get one what's my dust you get one separate light I think I'm gonna switch all of them on just to make sure that I there's no errors or, or anything I know that the redstone hasn't leaked over because I would have seen so obviously these two haven't been switched on so, I'm going to take a look at that. Oh, that makes sense. They don't, they're not leading inside the block. So, what I'm going to have to do is break this block over here. And, and I'm just going to have to put some, put the blo uh, block over here and the block over here. Break that block and put some redstone over here. So, now it should work. Now, the bottom one isn't working. I wonder why probably because it isn't powered and yeah it should be powered now all of it powered and that's it for one of the video because obviously i don't want to make it too long i don't want to make an hour long video because as you can see the next it is pretty tricky it's not it's not actually really that tricky but it is quite tricky so just to end it before we end it we're gonna make sure we put the blocks over here because i want to make sure they're all at the same height because you cannot um raise this block any higher without pushing it one block forward so yeah i'm just going to extend these and soon we're going to place redstone block on those bases and that's it for the end of the video i hope you enjoyed and please look forward to seeing more of this new series and I'll see you next time.